top three reasons why women file for divorce? Well, there's a divorce attorney and she's gonna share with you the top three reasons she finds with the clients that she works with in her firm um, as to why they get divorced. So let's get into it. I'm not driving, I'm stuck in my car for the next foreseeable future. So um, I saw a TikTok video this morning in my um, For You page that referenced a stat that I've heard on here um, several times that sometimes is exaggerated, but somewhere in the ballpark of 70% of divorces are initiated by women. And the video said something to the effect of uh, there's women who have higher education and they, you know, feel like they're being held back or they're tired of trauma. And I'm sitting here thinking, these are not the reasons that I see women file for divorce. So I'm going to give you the top three reasons why I think women file for divorce. And to be clear, I have not seen a greater percentage of men or women file for divorce. So this, this is just for fun. My top three reasons. Number one, before she gives these reasons, this is the stat that I have believed that I've talked about. Um, but I'm going to do more research and see what's actually out there. And I actually want to do, you know, listen to more attorneys and I think even bring on some so we could talk about these issues um, in a deeper way, maybe on my live streams that I do so they can answer questions and help people who are, even if you're just dating to really give you the reality of divorce and the pitfalls that they see people go into and maybe just some divorce stories. I think that'd be a lot of fun, but tell me, did you guys think that that did you believe that? But she's saying it's not. And I've actually heard some other divorce attorneys say it, but then I've had other people say that 80% of their clients are women. So it gets confusing, but we've got to get to the bottom of it. But, oh, and before we keep going, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let's keep going. Is that they discover some kind of misconduct. Um, and a lot of times that they do that, that they file when they discover misconduct, um, it really is more of a wake up call than anything, which is really frustrating um, as somebody who wants to advocate for them. Like, why are you okay putting up with this? Sometimes they, they file for divorce as an attention getting, like, hey, you don't really think I'm gonna do this? Well, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you that if you don't get your act together, that I'm gonna move forward with a divorce. And what unfortunately happens most of the time is the husband is like, okay, great, let's do it. And sometimes I have women that are like, no, wait, no, wait, I didn't actually want a divorce. Well, guess what? You're stuck in one now. So if somebody wants a divorce, they're entitled to one. So um, that's reason number one is getting attention. Reason number two is. Be OK, so women will think their husband's doing some misconduct. She didn't say what misconduct is it cheating. Is he, um, you know, just problems in the relationship? We can't just assume what it is. But women will do it as they don't actually want to leave their husband, but they're, they don't, they lack the skills or the ability to fix what's going on in their marriage and they don't understand their husbands. And so then out of frustration, we know women give ultimatums. We, we all do. Women are designed because we kind of have this like, you know, either change or I'm gone where we see ourselves as this prize that he is not willing to lose um, if he keeps doing this. But she's saying these women are just doing it as a threat and they don't mean it. So when the husband husband says yes you know and men do not like ultimatums if you're going to tell a man that you're going to leave and especially if he's already doing things or he's you know if he's doing misconduct as this is saying he is probably tired and done with the relationship not saying that's good or bad what he's doing but you need to be serious if you want if you are going to threaten divorce to a man because a lot of them be like all right that's fine he's already probably out the door or and or he has his own issues with you we know guys don't usually communicate as well as women um with their feeling and men will just act on what they're feeling versus verbalize it women will verbalize until they get to the point where they, you know, they will act out. But when you guys know women, women will talk you to death like I'm doing now. So let's get to point number two. Because they're in some kind of emergency situation. And I see that more financially. What people don't understand is that in a divorce situation, um, if you have all your money in a joint account, somebody can just come along and swipe all of it. And there's nothing that you can do about that until you get into court. So sometimes people have to file for divorce so that they can get into court to make the husband, for example, pay the bills that he's supposed to pay. Or maybe somebody took the children and we need them returned. Or maybe somebody has refused to pay the credit cards or cut off the credit cards or cut off access to cash. Filing for divorce is the way that we get help. So reason number two is to get some kind of court intervention. 
And reason number three. So again, she is saying women, you know, they will use the court for financial reasons because we know this can happen on either side. Again, this video is by women uh, file for divorce. She also has videos about men as well while they would file. And so the woman is, you know, she feels as though she can't get the bills paid or the guy takes all the money, whatever the situation is, um, they're going to use the system. The system is designed, you know, in order to get money. We know about this with uh, alimony, although alimony has actually decreased dramatically throughout the decades. In uh, 1960, I think it was over 30% of women got alimony and it uh, right now it's like 9%, it's actually a little bit below, it's like 8.9. And depending on the state, it will be even lower. Um, and so the, you know, a lot of men, we already know the family court system um, is is hugely stacked against men, although many states are actually enacting laws where it makes it equal on both sides. And um, a lot of reform has been going on and I've been doing my research. And again, I think I'm gonna do some videos to help expose all of this and see what's going on because we know the system is broken regardless of reforms and things they're trying to make. But this is interesting information. And if you don't think everyone says, Kevin O'Leary has a video that I did on one of my shorts that if you don't know mr wonderful shark tank billionaire guy he was talking about how for marriage there's no reason to get married unless you plan to have children um, because uh, marriage is a financial decision he also talks about when you get married you should not you should have keep have your own accounts and then you guys have a joint account that you put money into to take care of the household and so um i think it's very important that we have a financial acumen before we step into marriage versus just doing it out of your feelings because i'm gonna tell you at the end of the day your finances your feelings will not cover your finances and your feelings can leave you broke and destitute and at the mercy of the courts is because they just can't freaking take it anymore um, these are the women that have been married for a long time, and it takes them a long time to file. Um, they may meet with us several times over a multi-year period, trying to just understand, because a lot of the times it just is so scary and overwhelming for them to think about moving on after a marriage that it takes them a long time to do it, and they finally have decided enough is enough. So that's the three reasons why women file for divorce. So again, I feel like number one and number two are greatly correlated. So it, it will start with a woman, number one, where she will threaten divorce or she starts to go into that direction. Maybe things calm down with the family. She's too scared to step out there. She doesn't want to leave it, blah, 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 blah. And also we already know that there is a lot of delusion out here that there is something better on the streets for you as an older woman, that 40 is a new 20, 50, 60 is a new 20, and that at any age you can, you know, in these streets, there's these plethora of men who are gonna do better, do right by you and be, you know, this knight in shining armor, where they don't realize that after, you know, they'll talk to these divorce attorneys, they'll see all the information out there that if you're not happy, if your feelings don't feel a certain way, then just leave. But are they working on the marriage? And this is the things that a lot of us are going to have to take a step back. Relationships have to be built. Most people fall in love. Falling in love is like falling into a pit. There is nothing good that you fall into. But yet we use the term fall in love because most people marry for two reasons. Marry a person for two reasons. It was because their sexual attraction for the person, meaning, you know, uh, what that person looks like. And number two, how that person makes them feel. Love and marriage has become a thing about feelings versus building legacy and understanding and, and, and actually creating a union with a greater purpose. It's just about existing, coexisting together. But if you build a marriage, you know, if you think about building a tower, you have to learn the blueprint of it, you know, and there's a foundation that has to be, be established. And as you, as you grow in that, in, you know, building this tower, you're, you're, you are learn, you have to learn different trades. You have to learn how to communicate. You have to do different things so that this structure is sound. And of course you'll make mistakes, but let's say you're building a, a hundred foot tower if you make a mistake on uh level two floor two of that uh of that tower well you know what you learn at that stage how to deal with it so that if you face it again in the future you will be able to quickly remedy it and to the point where you won't make that mistake anymore because you've already learned from it and you've done the work to grow and so if you think about it marriage needs to be thought of as not falling in love but actually building a tower 
you don't want to fall in a hole or you end up in divorce and quite possibly I have heard horror stories and I have seen them and have witnessed I've experienced them myself and we want to do better so you guys let me know what you think about this leave a comment below also like this video and share it with anybody you know who is about to get married or not sure about marriage or already married so they can listen to these things and grow and learn and hopefully um yeah make better decisions all right I'll see you guys in the next one bye